So I'll come out of there and go back to here and just go to the bottom and we can do next. And we'll download package. So requirement is libxcb, we should have already installed that, we can of course check, it's not a foolproof check but, um, what's all this? oh this is all the log files that have been created, so in theory we could check all these log files if we wanted to look at anything, um, I'm tempted to delete them because they're just going to be in the way. So that's uh, actually I'll leave them for the time being because we should be in this directory in the XE directory. Um, let's go back here. Which one are we doing? XCB util. Yeah, so libxcb, you can see it's there. We're installing XCB util. And so the foolproof way to do this is if you're unsure, I mean. I'm sure this will be here, but we'll check anyway. Is to go to the package and go and find out find out what what files have been installed. So for libxcb, it's this file here, libxcb.so. So all we need to do is do a find, uh, probably from the lib to narrow it down a bit more. Minus name lib xcb.so okay so it may be a version so we can put stars in it because we're using the wildcard star we need to put it in quotes oh, so it's not there so it could be in user lib and in fact thinking about it a bit more sensibly we're putting xorg into op so that's where it's going to be and there it is So yes, we have got that dependency. And Doxygen is an optional package for the doc, uh, documentation. So once again, I'm adding to my list. Um, to rebuild that afterwards. XCB Util. So we can go ahead with this one. I'm going to tab. Oh, let's extract it first. Let's excuse me here. My um. The two keyboards, one's perched on the top of the other one, it wobbles a little bit. So if you hear rattling, it's not the keys, it's the keyboard rattling around, wobbling. Just trying to get them so they don't wobble. Um, okay, so now we can go to our terminal and copy the commands. Paste them in and run it. It's done and we can install it. So that's complete. So next one's XCB Util Image, and once again, the requirement is what we've just installed and we've got Doxygen to as an optional package for documentation so bear with me while I stick this on my list again just 
That's done. That's getting quite a long list now. Go back to our book in the text browser, select next, and download the package. So it looks similar commands to what we've just done. So I'm just going to verify this before I run the command. Just recall it. Dot configure, XOR config, and make. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, did I miss the testing on the previous one? I didn't notice that. No, it hasn't got a test suite. This one has got a test suite, so let's copy that in. No room to make. All oh, right, okay, I'll copy the full stop in. Okay, so it's passed as what, what we would have expected. It's a small package as well. So it just leaves it to install it as the root and we can tidy up. XCB util package. And we can move on. So once again, similar situation. Build this one later after we've got oxygen in. XCB util case key sims. So let's move on here, get the package. You see they're all tiny packages, all downloading really quickly. And you're probably wondering why the reason why these ones are separate, why aren't they, why aren't they automated? Well, as you saw, the um, XCB Util didn't have um, a test suite, so it would have failed because the automated packages um, did have test suites and then the XCB util image did have a test suite so that changes again and then this one hasn't got a test suite by the looks of it either so that's why it's these are being built by hand I, I presume plus they've got to be done in this order because one relies on the previous one and so on um, otherwise I'd, I'd say if there was a way to test whether they have got a test suite or not that you could probably automate a lot more. Right, so we fetched that, so it's time to extract it. And copy, paste the commands in. Could of course recall them if you wish. And I shall do that for the install command. And that's complete. So XCB util render util. And another one down for the list. XCB util. Okay, so this one hasn't got a test suite. So 
extract it. XCP util render util XCP util. So just check the command once more. And install it, and that's done. So XCP util WM, you can see the pattern here. XCP util WM. Let's fetch this one. And extract. Oh, no, not run due to, is it? This is the sort of thing where if you're not concentrating like I wasn't for a moment there, you could quite easily put the instructions in to compile this package. It would work, it would install. You think you've done one and you've actually done another. And the one that you've missed out on is the one that's missing and could cause problems. Either something else down the line won't compile or some functionality won't be available. So, yeah, it's important to uh, <laughs> stay focused on what you're doing. Um, and like myself that just then. So again, these commands for configuring, making and installing, all the same. Just recall it, check it, there's no subtle differences. And just uh, you reuse it. Okay. Is that done? Now what I have got to do is to tick these all off. I'm whizzing through them so fast. So let's find yeah. So Xorg libraries, Xorg util, XCB util, XCB util image, XCB util key sims, XCB util render util, and XCB util wm. Looks like there's one more of these, XCB Util Cursor. Yeah, so once again make a note. XCB Util Cursor. Back to our text browser, move on, download. Extract. And again, the installation commands are identical. Done.